Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you are doing good. I have been working on some couple of small features and tweaks based on your feedback. And in this video, we are going to look at some of these. So let's get started. So the very first one is this uh, translate button, which automates the uh, translation for you. If you select the target language, Previously, for the Google Translator, it has a limitation that only the visible content on the screen is translated. So as you are scrolling down through this subtitle, it starts translating the content. And while this works, it's a time consuming process. So this button automates that. If you click on this button, what it does is that it auto scrolls through all the lines, triggering uh, the translations from the Google Translator so that uh, this task is automated for you and it helps you save your time. So this is one of the nice and handy features. The next feature recently added is the horizontal alignment of the text. As you know, some of the languages can be best viewed in either left or right orientation. So for example, Urdu, it's best viewed uh, as a right aligned language. So you can click on this button to view this as a right aligned language and then edit this accordingly. You can also change the alignment for your source or original language using these two buttons and you can toggle these around. So the idea was that for the languages which have a different text alignment, you can view and edit them easily. Another feature recently added is these uh, show original language uh, along with the translated text. This has been requested a lot and I think this one is requested by people who are learning new languages. So they want to show both the original and translated text uh, up and down next to each other so that they can learn the language easily. Uh, you can also toggle the uh, order of the language so that if you want the translated text to appear first and then the original at the bottom, you can do this using this tool. And now if you save your subtitle file in this state using the save as button and play it in your media player, it should show both the original and translated text as you can see here. And finally, last but not the least is this in progress button. And what it does is that it lets you save subtitle file in a format so that you can resume the editing. Normally, once you have done the translation, this automatic translation, which is done by a machine is not in a perfect quality. So if you want to make it perfect, most people go through all the lines one by one and change them to make the sentences correct based on your target language. This is a long and tedious process. So they want to save current progress in a state so they can resume it later. And this is what this in progress button does. So for example, I will change something here. So well, I will change this Shamal word back to English North. And I can click on this in progress button to save my current state in a file. Now I will go back and try to load this file again. So I will go to new. And this time I will load this new in progress file and change this horizontal alignment. And as you can see, it not only has the translated text, but all my in progress editing as well. So as you can see, this in progress button helps you split your translation work into multiple sessions easily. That's it for today. I hope you like these new fixes and tweaks. If you have some other suggestions or you want some other fixes and tweaks, please do let me know. You can subscribe to my channel to stay updated on the latest fixes and tweaks. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.